Okay, so we're going to talk about trials versus percentages when writing IEP goals. Okay, so the main difference here is that one is based off the percentages, solely based off percentages against the number of items that you conducted. Trials are going to require that a certain number of items be completed. Okay. Now, another main distinguishing factor here is that trials must be done in one session, whereas percentages can be done over time. Okay. So that would mean if I was running a goal that required five trials, I would have to run all five of those items in the same session. Whereas if I were doing percentages, I could run those trials over the course of a week or multiple occasions or multiple sessions. Another thing to keep in mind when using trials to avoid putting a number in the goal. So an example of this would be if a student's going to answer five WH questions at four to five trials, that would mean they have to answer five questions equals one trial. Then they have to do five trials of that. So you're talking about 25 WH questions in one session. Right. So if that's the way you're setting up your goal, it might be logistically challenging to implement that if you're using trials and you might want to think about using percentages instead. One example of this, uh, just a sample goal, students will correctly solve multi-step equations. OK, now 80 percent versus four out of five trials. If I were running this at 80 percent, I could give students any number of items that are multi-step equations over the course of the week, course of you know the school day, different sessions whenever I need to implement them. Four to five trials of this same goal means I would need to sit down and in one session give them five multi-step equations to solve and then I'm measuring their accuracy out of those five trials and that counts as one occasion, okay? So keep these in mind when you're writing your goals because if it's something that you feel like might be done across multiple days and multiple sessions, you're going to want to lean more towards using percentages. But if you think that this is a goal that could be easily done in five trials or whatever the trial limit you set, in a single session, then go with trials. But it's important to understand how these are different and the way that you would need to implement them based on their conditions.